Hey everybody, Marcus Crawford here with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel. Hey, I've got something that is not a drone today. Uh, as you know, occasionally I'll uh, take a look at some different kinds of tech. And in the process of making drone videos, you find you need to use some different kinds of cameras. I'm shooting on the Canon M50 right now. I use different uh, action cameras, but one of the best cameras that you have is the one that you have on your smartphone and I've got uh, an iPhone uh, 11 Pro Max uh, and it's got a heck of a camera on it so I do use it sometimes and you're always wanting to get good stabilized video uh, so that said what I have here today is the uh, Hohem iSteady X smartphone gimbal uh, so uh, I've taken it out of the box to charge it up but other than that I haven't unpacked everything so uh, let's take a look at uh, what's in the box and uh, we'll take a look at the features of this guy so a lot of these gimbals will have uh, a number of things that they'll do like panoramas and time lapse and this thing has an inception mode where it spins the camera and of course you can uh, shoot in landscape and portrait mode but the main reason you buy one of these is so that you can get nice steady footage as you're uh, moving the camera. So we'll take it out and take a look at that and we'll try, uh, likely we'll try a time lapse. I don't know why we wouldn't uh, just give that uh, uh, inception mode a try, you know, it's, it's kind of one of the tricks of this thing. Uh, and then uh, maybe even uh, try the panorama where basically it's just going to do a spin around and show the location around you. but. Uh, Let's quit messing around. Let's uh, let's open this box up and let's see what's inside. Okay, this is it. This is the Hohem iSteady X, uh, and this is the packaging that comes in. I took the cellophane off because I did take it out just to charge it. I haven't uh, messed with the with it at all uh, or taken anything else out of the box. So we'll do that together. But it is all charged up uh, so that we can use it. Uh, and it is a three-axis gimbal. It says so, of course, right there on the front. And then on the back, you get the usual stuff, uh, what's in the box and some of the features and then the QR code for the app and their Facebook page, etc. Uh, but in any case, let's, uh, let's open it up here and let's see what we got. Okay, let's pull the actual gimbal out of the box. And uh, yeah, here it is. And the first thing that you notice is that it's very lightweight. It actually weighs uh, 259 grams and it will hold a phone up to 280 grams, which should be uh, more than enough for my uh, iPhone 11 uh, Pro Max. Uh, but you know you can just tell it's it's very very portable and uh, the usual the usual buttons on the front but before we get into that let's look at what else is in the box so uh, you've got a, a little tripod so you get a lot for your money with this guy you get a nice uh, portable little tripod with a uh, quarter 20 on the on the bottom of it here heck let's just go ahead and spin that baby on the on the gimbal and uh, then, you know, like you do with uh, all this stuff, you get your uh, uh, USB-A to USB-C uh, cable here. Uh, and you get a little uh, small lanyard uh, to go on there. And, you know, uh, don't discount something like this. This is handy when you're carrying it around. Obviously, you're not carrying just the gimbal, but your smartphone can be attached, and you might be glad that you had a hold of that. Uh, and then I think the only other thing in this box... And is uh, is the bag and the documentation. Yeah. So I had to pull that that out to get this out. But you get uh, you get a little uh, carry bag here, and uh, you know I suppose you could use that. Uh, I got to be honest with you. I probably would not mess around with the bag, and this thing will probably just go in my pocket. And then of course you get. Uh, uh, documentation. Okay guys, we're going to stumble through this together. Uh, I'm going to install my uh, iPhone on the uh, Hohem iSteady X here and it does give you, I don't know if you can see it there, some instructions uh, on the back of the gimbal, but if I understand it correctly, I pull that out and we're going to uh, we're going to pull this instruction sheet off of here. There we go. You get that satisfactory peel. Uh, if I understand it correctly, then you uh, once, once you pull the top of the gimbal out you there's a thumb screw here that you just simply lock it down with and then it also can be locked 
Yeah, right there. I don't know if you can see that. It's it's locked in place. You do need to unlock that. First thing we'll do is uh, see if we can get the uh, the smartphone in here. One of the uh, I think probably one of the cool things about this is that I can lock it in place uh, when I'm putting the smartphone in there. So that way you're not messing around with the thing moving around uh, while you're trying to install your smartphone. And it does have a little label on here that tells you which way the camera should go. So I've got my iPhone here. I'm simply going to uh, put it in place there. And uh, you know, you guys have all been through this before. You just are going to kind of roughly uh, balance it. But that looks, uh, that looks pretty darn good. So I'm going to unlock it. And then uh, you're going to see here for the first time we're going to turn on the gimbal. And let me turn around the other way so you can see it. Okay, here is the gimbal uh, in action. It took me a while to, uh, to get it turned on. Uh, what I found out is, and I had heard this, but I didn't realize to the extent that you needed to do it. You have to register with the Hoham app to activate the gimbal. The gimbal will not work until you uh, register. And, you know, I'll be honest with you, I don't have much of a problem with that. I do it with my DJI drones and most drones all the time, but uh, but I can understand why people would would have an issue with, uh, with wanting to do that. Uh, but there you get a good look at the gimbal itself and the app. And, you know, you can see that it works here. And if you turn it upside down, It'll flip the phone over and you can you can get those low shots when you want to go down low with it. One tap of the right hand button will change uh, modes here. So uh, there we are in portrait mode and then to go back to landscape mode, uh, just one more tap and you're in landscape. Uh, uh, a double tap, let's, uh, we can move the gimbal off here. A double tap will recenter it. And it recenters the gimbal, which we're all used to that. And then uh, you can uh, start video or take pictures with this button. I believe you double tap for video, and then you just tap for a uh, one time for a photo. Uh, so let me uh, get this guy outside, and we'll try it out, and we'll get some sample video and see how it looks. I can tell you it's very lightweight. Oh, one more thing I can show you, and of course we'll show that later. You do have a, a zoom slider on the side here as well uh, and not to mention I you saw me use it but you have the joystick here for for moving it uh, up and down so uh, you know pretty much standard stuff the best thing about it I can say is how lightweight it is and the fact that they include this little uh, this little tripod with it uh, I, re I truly think it's something that you could carry in your pocket along with your phone you're on a vacation or you're out someplace uh, you could pull it out at a moment's notice and uh, and have uh, smooth video with the best camera you got, which is, of course, your smartphone. Okay, I'm going to get this thing uh, out and about, and I'm going to try out some of the modes, and uh, we'll see you in a minute. This is a time lapse. The next six clips you'll see are from the moments feature on the gimbal. I'll label what they are at the bottom.
This is just to show you what it's like with the gimbal just walking normally. I wasn't doing the ninja walk or anything like that. And there is a little up and down motion, but, uh, but I thought it looked pretty good. This is a pan shot just using the thumb joystick on the gimbal. Uh, I thought it was pretty smooth and looked okay. I just thought this was a cool shot looking at the ducks. And of course, I'm not doing the duck walk, pun intended. Hey, okay, so I thought I'd do a quick conclusion on the Hohem iSteady X, and I've just got it sitting on a picnic table out at the park here uh, on the little tripod that comes with it that's uh, pretty darn handy. I've got it in face tracking mode. And as you can see, it's followed me around pretty darn good. Uh, so, wow, what a lot of value uh, they've packed into this little guy. It's a lightweight uh, little uh, mobile phone gimbal. Uh, I saw it on Amazon for uh, 69 bucks, and then they had a coupon uh, for another $14 off, bringing the net price down to 55 bucks. Uh, I think that's pretty darn reasonable. So, uh, yeah, well worthwhile. So I hope you like some of the demonstrations that I showed you there. There's there's a ton more that this can, thing can do. And let me tell you, if you're a real photographer, you can do be way better than I did with it. But uh, pretty handy little device. So in any case, that's about it. This is Marcus Crawford with the Idaho Quadcopter Channel out. And if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing to my channel. Most of all, I really do appreciate you taking a look at this video. And uh, yeah, of course, we'll see you on the next one. Uh, the Hohem iSteady X. Talk to you later. Bye now.